we have another action-packed week with quite a few activities in store. So we're going to be taking a look at the week three overview, and then we're going to start diving into best tips for mobile photography. We've got a couple of videos for you to watch as part of this week's activity list, and then including some resources like how to take incredible pictures, some device-specific tips if you're an iOS or an Android user, and then a number of module links. Your discussion this week is related to digital versus mobile photography. So really quick, let's take a look at the two pictures on the screen. This first picture was taken with my own digital camera. It is a older digital camera. It's a Canon PowerShot A610. So this camera is working on about 10 years old, if not a little bit older. It is just a typical point and shoot from Canon. But you can see that I was able to get some nice crisp detail of this cactus plant. This was out at Kurt Gowdy Park here in Laramie. So what would a similar picture taken with my mobile phone look like? Well, here you go. So keep in mind that I do have a Moto X. This is a fairly new mobile phone, which means it has newer technologies for the internal camera mechanism. But I also want to point out that this picture was taken using the VSCO Cam app that I require for this class. Look at the detail. Look at the little ant in the middle of the screen. I was super thrilled when I started using this app as just a general use for camera and photography because I do feel like I get a much better picture than I would with the built-in camera app. So there's a lot to be said for having different apps so taking pictures with a mobile device versus just using the native device app. So let's take a look at these kind of side by side. So hopefully this gives you an idea of the different types of pictures that you can take, the similarities, the contrasts, and give you some food for thought as you move into this week's opportunities and expectations. The last thing I want to mention is that you are working on your photo construction assignment this week. It is due on Sunday evening at 11.59. Take a look at the composite assignment ahead of time because you'll want to plan for at least two of the pictures in your photo construction to be complementary, meaning that you'll be able to take an element from one picture to insert it into the other when you create a composite image. Also, don't miss the point of this assignment where you are submitting it via Instagram. Take a look at the assignment details. If you're unfamiliar with Instagram, I do provide you a link on getting familiar with Instagram, but you can also contact me with questions. As a heads up, I am traveling quite a bit this week. I leave this afternoon to attend the GAF Summit up in Cody, and then I'm back on Wednesday night, but I turn around and I leave on Thursday afternoon for DC to attend the National Maker Fair for the University of Wyoming. And we will have an exhibit at the National Maker Fair. So if you see any media about that, look for Wyoming, we'll be there. But I will respond to emails every evening, if not during the day. So if you have any questions about this week's assignment, please let me know. I don't intend for the Instagram aspect to be a source of high anxiety. It's meant to be fun and to be social in nature as we share what we're creating in this class. Have a fantastic week, everybody. Use the on-screen navigation to access another section of this week's overview.